welcome everyone we are discussing relation in part 1 we have discussed definition of relation it is a subset of partition product and three types of relation universal relation void relation identity relation inverse relation and we have solved some application regarding these definitions today through this video i will discuss different kind of relations so relation as a reflexive relation a reflexive a reflexive relation a reflexive relation so suppose take an example a equals to 1 2 Now we have already defined what is identity relation. A belongs to R. Same kind of order here belongs to it. This is identity relation. But it in case of reflex a reflexive relation. If it is reflexive, suppose a reflexive relation R F. then same type of order pair must include here but you may get other order pair also 1 2 3 suppose c1 so what is the difference here only same kind of order pairs are present this is identity And reflexive means same kind of order pair. Plus, you can take other order pairs also. So, look, every identity relation is reflexive. Identity relation is reflexive, but every reflexive relation. is not identity this should be noted so definition let a is any non empty set non empty set a relation in r a relation in a is said to be said to be a reflexive reflexive e a a belongs to r if a a belongs to r or a belongs to A one one two two three belongs to R. So reflexive relation and identity relation, there is a difference. Only same order pair belongs to I A, but here order same order pair must include it. But you may get more order pairs here. For example, if R equals to suppose two three, then A equals to two three. So R equals to two two three three. Two two three three. So two three. This is 
reflexi R2 2 2 3 3 2 3 3 2 this is also reflexi so this this is also reflexi and R3 this is 2 2 3 3 this is also reflexive. So this one is universal relation. So every universal relation also reflexive. So reflexive relation. Next. Symmetric relation. Symmetric, symmetric relation, symmetric relation. Take an example first. A equals to one, two, three. So let R one is a relation. One one, two two. One two two one. R two is a relation. One one two two three three. R three is a relation. One one two two three three. One three. So. Definition A relation R A relation R in A A means A cos A is said to be symmetric. Very simple, said to be symmetric. A A B belongs to R implies B A belongs to that is reverse order pair belongs to it. Look, for R1, 1, 1, 2, 2. What is reverse of 1, 1? 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 2 reverse is 2, 1. So this is symmetric. This is symmetric. Because reverse order pair. Look, R2, this is also symmetric. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. If you take reverse of it, you are getting this. Now R3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. This is 1, 3. 3, 1 is not in here. So this is not symmetric. Not symmetric. So reverse. Practical example. L1 parallel to L2 implies L2 parallel to L1. Therefore, parallel union, parallel to, parallel to, relation parallel to is symmetric, is symmetric. L1 is a line perpendicular to L2, implies L2 perpendicular to L1. So, perpendicular to is symmetric relation. So very very simple relation. So this is symmetric relation. Then number 3. Transitive relation. These are the three important, most important relation. Transitive relation. Transitive relation. So look, L1 parallel L2 and L2 parallel L3. What is relation between L1 and L3? 
implies L1 parallel L2. So parallel to parallel this is tangent. So we give definition first. Let A is a non empty set. Non empty set. A relation. R in A is said to be transitive if A B T C belongs to R implies A C belongs to R. A B order pair, second order pair starting with B belongs to R implies A C belongs to R. So suppose A equals to 1 to 3. Take a relation. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Then 1, 2, 2, 1. So look, 1, 1 and order pair starting with 1, 2 belongs to R implies 1, 2 belongs to R. Now 2, 2 starting with 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 belongs to R implies 2, 1 belongs to R. So, 3, 3, there is no element starting with 3, so no need of verification. 2, 2. So, 1, 2. 2, 1. Belongs to R implies. 1, 1. Belongs to R. One two 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 belongs to R implies one two belongs to R. So look all so look all elements belongs to R. So R is transitive. Transitive. R is transitive. Now, take a practical example. L equals to set of lines in a plane. L1, L2, L3. So, L1 parallel to L2. And L2 parallel to L3. This is L1, this is L2, L2 parallel to L3. And what is the relation between L1 and L3? Implies L1 parallel L3. Therefore, parallel 2 is symmetric, sorry, transitive relation. Transitive relation. Tangent relation. Next, last and final, anti symmetric. Anti symmetric relation. Anti symmetric relation. A relation R 
in set a is said to be said to be anti symmetric symmetric a a b belongs to r and b a belongs to r implies a equals to b a b belongs to r and b a belongs to r implies a equals to b so take an example so look lesser than equal relation lesser than equal A relation lesser than equal so x lesser than equals to y and y lesser than equals to x if x lesser than equals to y and y lesser than equals to x then from our knowledge we know this is possible when x equals to y so x lesser than equals to y that is xy belongs to r and y is at then equals to x so yx belongs to r implies x equals to y so the relation less than equals to is anti symmetric anti symmetric similarly greater than equals to this is also anti symmetric now listen A is half set of B, and B is half set of A. Implies A equals to B. So the relation half set is also anti-symmetric. Symmetric. So these are the four types of. Definition. We need idea of this definition to solve problem. So there are one marks, two marks, and four marks problems. So a S R T relation, a S R T relation, a relation symmetric. Reflexive and transitive is called equivalence. Equivalence relation. So I will consider it in next class, and I will solve some problems. So ten to twelve board problem in next class. So today I will solve only. Problem relating to this definition. One or two marks problems. Now we will solve some problems using these relations. So that the relation R in set of real numbers defined by R equals to A B A less than equals to B square. is neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive so to disprove it not reflexive so disprove a result to disprove a result example is sufficient now look half less than equals to So for for a reflexive a reflexive we have to take a a same order here. Suppose we are taking half comma half. Now look a less than equals to a square. That is half less than equals to half square. 
a lesser than equals to a square if we put b equals to a for tangentive now take a equals to half so half lesser than 1 by 4 it is not it is not this is not so half comma 1 by 2 does not belongs to r so r is not reflexive reflexive so suppose 2 comma 2 so 2 lesser than equals to 2 square which is true 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 so 2 comma 2 belongs to r so look but we cannot say that relation is reflex, reflexive. It will be reflexive. It is true for all numbers. Now to disprove it, one example is sufficient. So, it is not true for this case. Therefore, we cannot say that it is reflexive. So, to disprove a result, example is sufficient. So, it is true, but it is not true for all cases. Then, symmetric, reverse one also, symmetric, symmetric, we verify the symmetric. Minus one, three. Suppose we are taking minus one, three. So, minus 1 less than 3 square, which is true. Minus 1 less than 3 square, which is true. But look the reverse one, 3 minus 1. If we take 3 minus 1, then 3 less than equals to minus 1 whole square, which is not true. So, minus 1, 3 belongs to R implies 3 minus 1 does not belong to R. So, this is not symmetric. So, relation is not symmetric. So, for disprove a result, I am saying repeatedly, examples are sufficient. Then transitive, transitive relation, transitive, we have to take two order pairs, any two. So suppose 2 minus 3, you can take any examples, 2 minus 3, then we start with minus 1, minus 3, 1. So look, 2 minus 3 belongs to R implies 2 less than equals to minus 3 whole square, which is because 2 less than 9. Now minus 3 1 belongs to R implies minus 3 lesser than 1 square, which is which is but if we combine this result. So, we are getting 2, 1 belongs to R implies 2 less than equals to 1 square, not 2. So, this is not, not true. So, R is not transitive. R is not transitive. So, to disprove a result, we take example. Now, we consider one more problem. R equals to xy. xy belongs to n cross n. 2x plus y 41. Verify whether R is reflexive, symmetric or transitive. So look, y equals to 41 minus 2x. So this is satisfied by 
you know, if we take x equals to 1, so this is 39, 2, so this is 37, 3, this is 35, 41 minus 4, 33, and proceeding this way, if we take x equals to 20, this is 1. If we take 21, this is not possible. So 1, 1, if it is 1, 2, hello, 2 minus 2 minus, so 1, 39, 4, 35. So what is R? So 1, 39, 2, 37, 335, 433, and proceeding in this way, we get 21. 20, then 1. Now we have to verify these relations. So look, 1, 1 does not belong to R. 1, 1 does not belong to R. So R is not a reflexive. We have already stated one example is sufficient to disprove it. Now 139 belongs to R, but 39 1 does not belong to R. So R is not symmetric. R is not symmetric. Then we have to take order pair whose second element is first element of the second order pair. So look, if we take 10, 10, so this is 20, this is 21, 10, 21. And if we take, this is 19, 19, this is 3, 19, 3, and this is 18, 18, this is 5, this is 5. If we take this is 5, then this is 10, 31. 5, 10, 31. So 5, 31, then 6 in this way, and this is 1, 39. 39 is not possible, so 1, 39. If we take 10, if it is 10, 10, so 21, 10, 21. If it is 11, 11, 22, 22, 22, 49, 22, 41, this is 9, 19, 19. So we have to write order pair for which one element is common. So 10, 21, 11, this is 11, 11, this is 22, this is 19. So 12, 17, 12, 17, 13, this is 15, 14, 13, 15, 15, 13, 11, 15, 11. So we try to complete this table. Then 16, 9, 17, 17, 7, 
17, 7. And up to 6, then it is 7, 7. If we take this is 7, 7, 14, 14. Seven twenty seven six twenty twenty nine eight sixteen twenty five nine this is twenty three twenty three so let us very high transitive relation. Now listen, y equals to 41 minus 2x. We are getting so many order pairs. Look, if we write the order pairs, so 11, 19, 11, 19 is a order pair. And we want to take another order pair which starts with 19. So look, 19 3 belongs to R. And if we combine it, we get 11 3 does not belong to R. So R is not transitive. R is not transitive. So we are getting so many order pairs. So look, that is why we are finding difficult. We are taking any order pair. Now we start with another order pair which starts with 19. Look 139. There is no order pair starting with 39. So that is why we are taking 11, 19, 19, 3. So R is not transitive. Next, one more problem. R equals to xy. x square plus y square 25. xy belongs to z. So that R is neither reflexive nor tangent. Also verify antisymmetric relation. So x square plus y square equals to 25. So y equals to plus minus 25 minus x. So x equals to 0, y equals to plus minus 5. 0, 5, 0, minus 5. So x 5, y 0. x minus 5, y 0. Now 3, 4. 3, 4, 4, 3. Also possible. 3 minus 4, 4. 3 minus 4, 4 minus 3. Also possible. Then minus 3 minus 4. Minus 3 minus 4. We are getting these type of order pairs. Now, look, 0 is a member, but 0, 0 does not belong to R. So R is not reflexive. 5 is a member, but 5, 5 does not belongs to R. So it is not reflexive. For tangitive, look, 0, 5. 0, 5. And start with 5, 5, 0. Belongs to R. Implies 5, 5 does not belong to R. So R is not transitive. R is not transitive. Now look, 3, 4 and 4, 3 belongs to R, but 3 not equals to 4. 3, 4 and 4, 3 belongs to R, but 3 not equals to 4. So this is anti symmetry So R is not anti symmetric R is not anti 
symmetric. So relations are verified. Now we consider one more problem. Problem number one. A B A result then equals to B. A B belongs to R. R means set of real numbers. Prove that R is reflexive and tangential, but not symmetric. So for reflexive, A A belongs to R. implies a lesser than equals to a b is replaced by a so which is true which is true so therefore r is replaced two marks for them now for tangent a b belongs to r A B belongs to R. Implies A lesser than equals to B. Does not imply. Does not imply B lesser than equals to A. A B belongs to R. Implies A lesser than equals to B. But it does not imply. But it does not imply B lesser than equals to A. So A B belongs to R. Implies B A does not belongs to R. Implies B A does not belongs to R. R is not symmetric. Or you may disprove. this result using example also i have already taken it will be simple but look i am already stated for disproving it for disproving it we can take example we can take here example for second case but for general proof you have to so prove that r is reflexive And tangent, but not symmetric. So, in general way, we have to prove reflexive and tangent. Taking example, we may prove the symmetricity. Now, tangent AB belongs to R and BC belongs to R implies A lesser than equals to B and B lesser than equals to C. So this implies A lesser than equals to C. This implies A C belongs to R. So from property of algebra, A less than B, B less than C. So A less than C, A C belongs to R. So R is tangent. Tangent. So relation is tangent and symmetric. Ah, sorry, tangent and reflexive. But not symmetric. You complete from rest of two and three. So today, through this video, we have solved some problem relating to definition of reflexive, symmetric, transitive, and anti-symmetric relations. These are. one or two marks problem and most important for board also in the next class i will solve four marks problem that is whether a relation is equivalence or not that is srt relation or not so thank you for today